Hi, beloved sisters and brothers of the world. It's my proud privilege to invite you to India, to a great Indian, Fakir Yogi Vrindhi Yogi on Vrindhra Diyar channel, where I will tell you the story of how the great people lived in India, sacrificed everything for their citizens, for their people, for the birds which animal plants and humans. The tradition of India has been to treat every creature with feelings similar to as their own. The culture of India has been to love everyone and treat the whole world as their own family. The tradition of Indians has been to really dedicate, commit themselves so that the world is beautiful, protect not only self-gratification but the happiness, peace, joy, serenity and calmness of everyone. Few examples I will cite before you. In the ancient time, there were Ram. People called him God, but I call him the most powerful, thoughtful person, the most enlightened person. Another came, Lord Krishna, the most enlightened person who loved his country, who loved justice, and who did justice. Third in the category was Gautama Siddhartha Buddha, who got enlightenment, who really believed in the power of thought, the purity of thought. Thought in the mind has made us. So they embraced the ultimate truth in their life and they really enlightened every human being. Beloved friends, I really want to share with you, be a really very truthful, honest and sincere person. Always, as I'm a Fakir and Yogi, Fakir Yogi, Vrindir Yogi, I always share my views with everyone to follow the laws, the universal laws, that is the truth. That is the eternal thing and that is only love, that is only the respect, that is only making you a real human being, just not in your shape and size, but in your mental growth, your real enlightenment. Truth, justice, peace, love and non-violence, kindness, compassion, honesty, integrity, humility, generosity, loyalty and cooperation should be your great beloved sisters and brothers. Then you will live a very, then you will live a very happy life, and you will create such an environment where there will be a powerful induction from you, and you will influence others also, to really to follow the path of all these noble thoughts. Be a noble person. Be very thankful to those who are helping you, who are caring for you. Be very grateful to them. Your gratitude, your loyalty, and sincerity should be much far better than what you have received from others. Never be selfish, never be a greedy, never be an angry person because greed, anger, hatred, jealousy and cynicism will make you nothing better than the bestial, groveling, wild beasts of the forests. You see in the forest what is happening. They are monstrous beasts who really live on the blood path of the innocent creatures, the lions, the tigers, the hyenas, the wolves, the wild dogs. Never be tried to become wild dogs. The senseless, powerful beasts like Putin, I call him wild. I call Zelensky the beasts. I call Joe Biden the beast. They are gratifying their own selfish, supremacy, hegemonistic attitude. They never learn from me. They never learn from my people. Gautama Siddhartha Buddha, the gospel of love, the kingdom of God. Jesus taught them. They say they are followers of Jesus. They follow Christianity. What Jesus taught? Greed has poisoned men's soul. Barricaded the world in hate. Good step in misery, bloodshed and wars. I belong to that creed of these great people. I follow the law of nature. Nature support us. Gravitation hold us together. Let's unite together and be loyal to every creature on this earth. Mother Earth has room for everyone and can provide for everyone. The world has everything. But in our mind there is a vacuum. We have conquered time and space, but we have evacuated all the good thoughts from our mind. Our mind is fully saturated with groveling thoughts. Greed, anger, hatred, jealousy and cynicism, ignorant, indolent, thoughtlessness as a dominant force in our mind. That's why the world is in chaos. 
See the massacring, the killing, the butchering, the slaying. These are all the births of the ignorant people. Those who are very, very ignorant. They don't know what is life. They don't learn how to live in their lives. And they are creating an environment of insecurity. Anybody can be killed, slain in India, you see. What is going on in India? The people that don't have their own opinion. The people that don't know the truth. They follow opinions of others. And others have opinion which is right or wrong. They never try to judge. This Fakir Yogi, Bendri Yogi, I tell you. You may be Einstein. You may be Newton. You may be my best friend. Stephen Hawking. But they taught us all good things. But I have experimentally verified and I trust their universal laws and I believe them. But even these people tell me something wrong, I will never believe them unless I test on the balance of my own wits, my own intelligence and my own wisdom. That you should also follow. No human being has used the brain more than 3 to 4, 5 percent. Even Einstein, Newton and Stephen Hawking. They will have illusion, they will have confusion. What they perceive may not be absolute truth. Things are changing day by day in every way because better and better experimentation has given us better understanding of the world. I pray you, the ultimate wisdom is be loyal to your people, be sincere to your people, love your birds with animal plants and humans because you are very short-lived. Everything is impermanent on this earth. Nothing is permanent. So don't be just ignorant, just be done wild beasts, selfishness, greed, anger, hatred, jealousy and cynical thoughts be the path of your everyday progress. That is really making you wild. Please change your mind. Thought in the mind has made us. What we are, what thought was wrought and built. If a man mind has evil thought, he will be a devil and destroy the whole earth like Putin, Zelensky, Joe Biden, NATO heads. If your mind is dominant by noble thoughts like Jesus, God, Masirata, Buddha, you will bring the kingdom of God on earth and you will love everyone and respect them. You will always try to secure peace, serenity, calmness and joy in the heart and soul. Teach your children right from the beginning to be a peace-loving citizen to be a kind, compassionate and generous human being. Ultimate wisdom is above all, respect all. Every wisest human being has this message for everyone. But we have lost the way. We have become greedy, selfish. We have divided the world in different compartments. And that is really groveling and bestial thoughts. And that has arisen from ignorance indolence, thoughtlessness and foolishness. Greed, anger has become the dominant way of living life. I congratulate you. As you are my audience, you will listen to me, you will test it on your own wits and intelligence and if you think this is right, follow it to the letter and spirit. We unitedly can make the world a better place for every creature. Thank you viewers. I love you and respect you.